Welcome to video number four on making the most of your Mac video series. This video is about diagnostics mode and basically checking errors on your device and the internal tools that Apple has built into the operating system to allow you to do that. Apple Diagnostics is formerly known as the Apple Hardware Test. You may want to run this test if you suspect hardware issues, like possibly a failing hard drive, uh, display failure, maybe a backlight failure, or maybe some failing memory on your device. If you suspect your Mac might have a hardware issue, you can use Apple Diagnostics to help determine which component might be causing the issue. The next steps will be guiding you on how to run Apple Diagnostics on your Mac. It works with all recent versions of Mac OS, including Big Sur and Monterey. Step one, shut down your Mac. So you can shut down your Mac the usual way by clicking on the restart button on your login screen or by holding the power button for five seconds. Step two, disconnect all external devices. Pretty straightforward, disconnect all external devices except for the keyboard, the mouse, display, ethernet cable if attached, and the connection to AC power. Step three, ensure your Mac is on a level surface, stable, with good ventilation. As part of Apple Diagnostics, the fans will begin to operate loudly and you'd want to make sure that nothing is obstructing the airflow to the device. For the purposes of ruling out environmental error, Ensure your device is on a flat and stable surface free from obstructions and vibration, magnetic interference, speakers, that type of thing. Step four, turn on your Mac. Turn your Mac on the usual way by pressing the power button and immediately press and hold the D key until you see the Apple progress bar and you're likely asked to choose a language. Apple Diagnostics will run on screen. You'll see the progress as the tests are running. You'll hear the fans increase in their loudness as the hardware is being tested. When the test completes, you'll see the results on screen. Step five, view your test results. Apple Diagnostics will show a progress bar while it's checking your device. When the testing is complete, Apple Diagnostics will show the result as well as any error codes that you might see as a result of the test. If you'd like to run the test again, holding Command R will start the test again if you'd like to test a second time. Don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. To keep it short, there's too much information to miss by not checking out the other videos in this series. Please give a thumbs up and leave your comments below.